What's up guys? Welcome back to Death by Boost. If you've been following our channel now, you would find you would know that Frankencart has got some issues. It's never a good sign when you got this out. In the last video, um, we found metal in the oil and this thing's also knocking. I'm not quite sure what the noise is, if it's piss and slap or rod knock, but anyways, this motor needs to come out. It needs to be pulled apart. We need to figure out what's going on. But this engine's pretty easy to get out of here. As you can see, it's, it's already open. Don't have to worry about having a hood. None of that stuff in my way. However, I need to get the wing off. I need to get the exhaust off. All the wiring, I need to drain this thing, get all the coolant out of it. And other than that, it's just four bolts and this thing comes right out. So let's get to it. Man, I make that look way too easy. It actually came apart a lot easier than I thought because this new exhaust system, it's all new to me uh, compared to the old engine. It all came off in one freaking chunk. Look at that contraption there. Now all I got left is I just need to get the headers off, drain the water, pull the intake off, and drain the coolant. But I need to get all the wires off. Disconnect these axles, and this thing's ready to go. Let's get that intake and exhaust off. I'm only in it maybe an hour and a half. Already got the intake off, the whole exhaust system, fuel system. Just need to get all this harness off, get these axles off, and drain the coolant. And this engine's ready to come out. She's ready to come out. Everything's disconnected off this thing, so hopefully nothing gets in the way because I have added a lot of stuff prior to putting this engine in. Hoping nothing interferes, like um, these coil brackets are actually welded to the engine mount. I think they'll be clear. I had to take the starter off of that side because I knew it would hit. And then some of these hoses might get in the way of like the alternator and stuff as it comes out. But I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this next part. transmission off and for those of you don't, that have not seen the adapter plate that was made for this it's inch and a half aluminum and then this is the Audi clutch it's a twin disc made by clutch masters and then inside of here is the other flywheel the LS flywheel and between the two there's an adapter hub that sandwiches this guy and then this guy bolts up to that so let me get this clutch off real quick get this adapter plate off I tell you, Clutch Masters is not playing around. This clutch is rated for 1200 horsepower, you know, behind like an Audi engine. But then this thing's got a buttload more torque and it still looks pretty good. I mean, there's some hot spots on there, but I drag raise this thing. I slip it, but this thing still holds. So this thing's still got a lot of life in it. It's really good to know. So here's the other half of that. That's what it looks like on the inside. And then I had to use their Audi head studs that I used for the crank bolts to make that work because I had a countersink in there. See, and that's what the inside looks like. All right, guys, engine is out. Got this done in about four hours, I'd say. Got off of work, got here, ripped this thing out. On the next video, I'm gonna be tearing this apart and then we're gonna see what happened inside this motor. And after I get it torn apart, then I'm gonna drop this thing off the machine shop, get it rebuilt, get it back in, get this thing ready for spring. But thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe and catch you next time. Thanks guys.